Hello there world, it's your girl Margaret. I'm coming to you this morning. I had to pull over because I felt something strongly go through me and I needed to share this uh, with the world. And that is, you have what it takes to be successful. Now, some people measure success as far as the money you have or the house you live in or the car you drive. But success goes even deeper than that. Success begins with an accomplishment, something that you have accomplished in your life that maybe you thought you would never accomplish. You know, at first, I never looked at myself being successful as a mother because I was always focused on, well, I'm a single mother with four sons. But not realizing the lifestyle that I was giving my four sons, not realizing that my four sons were going to school, not getting in trouble, coming home, doing their work, making straight A's and all, and not realizing and giving myself credit that I was a great mother to my sons. And so when I began to look at the small things and I even had who's now my husband, he told me, he was like, you have done a great accomplishment in raising your sons while you was a single mother. And it, and it was at that moment that it hit me like, wow, I never gave myself credit. So I say this and I share this with you to say, start giving yourself credit. If it is, I don't care how small it is, if it's an accomplishment, something you have done, give yourself credit for it. Stop shorting yourself. Because let me tell you something. If you don't uplift yourself, if you don't boost yourself, if you don't give yourself a pat on your back and toot to your horns every now and then, I'm telling you, no one else will. Or the ones that you think should, won't. Because it's not about what others think. It's not about what how others feel. It's about what you think and how you feel. And I'm, I just feel that a lot of times people are depressed, sad, and all because they feel like they're living a life and they have no sense of accomplishment. Well, doggone it, it's time to erase that depression, sadness, anxiety, whatever, out your life and start tuning your own doggone horn. You got to remember, and this is stated in Genesis, the Bible. And yes, I'm a Bible reader and believer. And for those of you who aren't, well, you know, whatever you all believe in, pull upon that as long as it's positive, okay? But it states in Genesis that we were created in His image. That means... um that we were created in the image of God and in the likeness of Him. So I share this with you to say that you weren't no mistake. You weren't no junk. You are no junk. You are a human being that has been created like God. You are unique and you are doing some fabulous super califragilisticexpialidocious things in life. So toot toot your horn. Praise God for what he's done. And I'm telling you everything else is going to work out in your favor. This is your girl Margaret and I'm signing off. Peace.